Hello, trading is closed on March the 19th, 2021. We always start with our disclaimer and uh, then go over our calls and make some predictions. This is my trading plan for Monday, which I guess is the uh, 22nd of March, 2021. I can be completely wrong. Trade at your own risk. Please follow the rules of my channel. Comments can come to me, jt.trades at gmail.com. We had a few calls. This was the pattern with the early high. Here's the early high. It tends to be a rally day. High in the final hour. We got that. But we, what we don't normally get is a drop like this at the end of the day. This is a pattern which typically rallies into the close, but it doesn't rally into the close. It's usually trouble. We not only undercut all these highs, and even this high, we undercut all these lows. Now all, of, all will be forgiven if we get up Monday and take out this high promptly. And there's a wall into the close, so it isn't impossible. But usually moves on Friday, even walls on Friday, have a tendency to follow through into Monday's open. And if you don't hit a new high, it usually leads to further weakness. We did have a target, 39.63.70. We said we couldn't rely on it to, to print because it was so close to the all-time high. And if it's a change in trend, that's when these things fail. We also pointed out about the about the FOMC whipsaw. We went up about 41, 42 points. That's leg one. Leg two should be larger than that. So that was 42 and 13 is about 55 points. So that's larger. And if the whipsaw works, we should then go 55, 56 points over this level, 39.4207, and that'll take us up to near 4,000. But if the Fed whipsaw doesn't work, look out below. So if you're a bull, you really want to gap over these, these highs Monday, because when these things fail, they fail in grand style. We'll go over the calls from today in just a minute. A number of people asked me how I came up with the target for 39.63.70. Just to review things, Thursday we had a buy signal. The buy signal generates a target. The target is dependent upon whether the move is immediate or delayed. This target was clearly, this move was, it was clearly delayed. And when it's delayed, the target changes to this level here. It should be clear to anyone who read my book, especially the, the final chapter where I go over three days, three, three weeks of, of um, trading and explain step by step how to apply the rules, how this target was generated. I also went over the webinar that I had. If anyone goes over those and still don't, and still does not understand where it came from, write me again. But what I really want people to do is not just to um, ask where it came from, I want them to know where it came from. I want them to understand the system before they risk money. And if it's not clear where this number came from, I really wish people would review the material again, because if you don't fully understand where these targets are derived, you're not going to make money. And the whole point of this business is to help people make money. Now, all these targets won't always generate trades, but this was the system in action today. We had an ultimate buy signal early on as we were dropping right at the low, and that clearly worked. 
You have a day-long rally, rallying for hours, you're close to highs. MJT says, don't jump on this necessarily because we're going to drop. This is a false move. You're going to undercut the low. And it said when you undercut the low, there's support, and that drop won't stick. So this was a very logical, this was a very logical place under the system to hold off on the natural human tendency to to jump on the train heading higher and as you're dropping here this was a logical place under the system to look for support and enter along let's go back Just to review some other stuff, periodically I receive inquiries on how to get my book or the webinar. The instructions are on the sign-in page. They're right over here. You can get a book from Harriman House or from Amazon. You can get the webinar from PayPal. I had one person today, I tried to send it to him and I couldn't. My son's going to help me figure this out. But um, if anyone orders it, they'll have it. They'll probably might have to wait until the weekend's almost over, though, because I'm doing something wrong, I think. Although I did it before, it always worked. I don't know why it doesn't work now. I also receive inquiries regarding Target. It should be clear to anyone who understands where this Target's Anyone understands the system, where the targets come from? If you don't understand my system or anyone else's system, don't risk your money. Happy to go over the rules if you bought the book or the or the or the webinar. But I really want people to understand it and not just follow what I say because. If you're going to use it during the middle of the day, I'm not always there. Well, here's a big trend line. This low came right to that trend line. And it's it broke here, we recovered. But if we break through it again, especially if we gap under it, it's pretty hard for me to see how we recover, particularly if we undercut 38, 98, 81. I don't know exactly how to count this, but... We had the prior all-time high ending in an A. The question was, was this the end of B? So let's just look at what's happened since the end of this potential B. The question we had was, had we started an impulse? You can count this as one, two, three, four, five good fibs. We've got an A, B, C. C is equal to A. All these fibs work. I don't know if that's the right count. But if it is, this could be the start of a wave 3 down. And that's not good. Monday's pattern has the early low. We could give up. Today we had the standard pattern with an early high and a high in the final hour. It's quite negative. We didn't close near the high, but instead undercut multiple prior highs, even prior lows. Unless we gap up and promptly overtake today's high, lower prices should print on Monday. Can't rule it out because there was a wall under the close. Sometimes those will gap up. But late Friday moves often carry through into Monday's open. The wave counts compatible with a steep drop starting now. Numerous stocks I watch with favorable chart patterns had those patterns ruined today. Gapping down enough would be a major trend line break. That's kind of negative stuff. Bulls need to gap up strongly Monday or we should be on our way to lower and perhaps much lower prices. It's the pattern with the early low. You're a bull, cross your fingers and hope we gap up and take out this high because we have a number of things strongly suggestive of a sharp move down and all we need 
is to gap down Monday or at least fail to take out this high. And that's what I think is going to happen. And that is today's call.